ESPN Radio is presented by Progressive Insurance. Guests on the Dan Levitard Show appear via the Shell Pennzoil Performance Live. Here's your Sports Center update. Russell Westbrook has been suspended for the Thunders game versus the Heat tonight after he was assessed his 16th technical foul of the season during OKC's loss to Golden State. What are you laughing about, Amici? What's so funny about 16 technical fouls? Well, listen, the moment I hear technical foul, I hear fine. And, and I would run a million miles from that fine. I was just adding up the amount of money he's, he's wasting and thinking, <laughs> I, I, I am so cheap, I would never do that. How many technical fouls did you get in your career? How many? I want to say four, and I want to say that they are all strategic and brilliantly uh, uh, choreographed. <laughs> and finally, a mystery pooper is tormenting Broadway auditions. The pooper is using audition rooms as a personal potty and revolting thespians. The pooper struck during tryouts for the Magic Mike musical at Pearl Studios on February 26th, and again on March 6th at the Ripley Greer Space Down the Block. For all the latest headlines and information, tune in the Sports Center on ESPN Radio all throughout the day. John Amici giving the Straight Talk is brought to you by Straight Talk Wireless. Best phones, best networks, no contracts. He's going to spend the hour with us. We've spent a lot of time over the years with John Amici. Before this program even existed, John Amici, when he was in the league, we were doing uh, weekly conversations with him on Sundays, just talking about basketball and things beyond basketball we're not going to do a whole lot of basketball here stump the meach is what you're waiting for it'll be in 15 minutes <laughs> we'll get to funniest thing from the sports weekend in a second but he played basketball at penn state played for orlando and cleveland and utah how many teams am i missing any teams uh that's it yeah. that's it and that'll uh, do over how many years um i think six six years in the league and didn't like much of any of it I mean, I, I think there's something amazing about being in the league, about getting there when you know you're a fat kid from Stockport. That that that's cool. But it also is it's a repetitive job with people who could never do your job standing very close to you, yelling at you, telling you that you can't do your job. It's a <laughs> it's a very weird scenario. People right? like me, yeah, yeah. 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 You know, and, and also just, thinking, <laughs> he's just talking about Jerry. He's talking about Jerry Sloan. As you throw the ball in from the sideline, a corpulent man in a suit is telling you you're terrible and he could do better than you. It's a weird scenario in any book, right? Yes, it is. It pays well, though. It is. Absolutely. <laughs> it does pay well. It's so danger money. This is the Dan Lebatar Show with the Stugats on ESPN Radio. Guillermo, put it on the poll, please. Uh, is What Does the Got Say the greatest song ever produced by this show? John Amici is in studio with us. Uh, he is a very smart man, but he always appears to be humbled and dumb in the face of Stugatz's incompetence. <laughs> he can't win this game no matter how many times we play it with him. We'll get to it in a second. But to set this up for the new audience, uh, Stugatz over many years here has been mispronouncing words at a clip that's alarming for a professional broadcaster, for anybody, really. And so Amici always enters these confidently and always leaves disgraced and defeated. So it's best of five, Mike, best of five Stugatz mispronunciations. The first here for former nba -er John Amici is, we usually start easy. The yep. first one is copyright. Ooh. <laughs> copyright. See, I think it's – this is not my final answer. I think it's copyright, but I can't think of a reason why you'd ever try to say that word. That's a good point. I'd be with you on that one. I'd, that's what I think it is. Copyright. Oh. Is that your final answer? Oh, it has to be. It is copyright. Oh. Yeah. He started strong before. All right, me. It means Let's nothing. It, they will get harder. We've had a while to build up this library. This is maybe. true. Yes. Uh, the second Stugatz mispronunciation is? Compensatory. Ooh. See, is this compensatory? Compensatory. Don't ask me. Uh, I'm saying it's compensat compensatory. Well, hold well on however you would pronounce well, 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 it. We, is, is this a tomato thing? Hold on a second, though. We, uh, I, I would pronounce. I don't know what you're trying to pronounce. I don't know what you're trying to pronounce. Well, what are you well, trying what, to what pronounce? What do you think I'm trying to? Uh, no, no. You. <laughs> I want you to get this right. I, I believe that what he is saying there is compensatory. Yes, compensatory. 
<laughs> that is not what tomato, you're saying. Tomato, tomato. That is not what you're saying. You're saying something different. I'm nearly sure all the same letters are in the same order. <laughs> all right. Well, let's see there. It, is it compensatory? Compensatory. It, is he starting 2 and 0? Oh? Well, he's not saying whatever Meech is trying to say, but he is trying to say what Dan just said. Compensatory. Right. So right. that's you know what? We'll right. give it to him it just to, to put some drama on it because we don't believe he's going to get any of the last three. How is that three. not right? Uh, <laughs> because you didn't pronounce compensatory correctly. You pronounced it with your foo-foo English accent. Uh, okay. In that case, I'll, I'll live with that. <laughs> all right. So you're clearly on I mean, the Meech, way to Best start you've ever gotten <laughs> off to here. How are you feeling? You feeling pretty good? Uh, no, because I know what happens now. I feel like in the background you have a choice of six or seven, and depending on how well I do in the first two, <laughs> really? you simply so ramp you, up the additional. So, so you think it's rigged. All right, let's yes. go to number three and see if his theory proves founded. Cock. You see what I mean? <laughs> this is exactly right. So the, the next thing that happens is just is just some kind of some kind of bird call. <laughs> the degree of difficulty does the degree of difficulty does escalate here quickly. What is that again? Cock. <laughs> That's dangerous. I thought that I can't say the word. I think he's saying. I think that. I know it. Cock. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. This is a three syllable word. <laughs> no, it isn't. Cock. See, <laughs> a three-syllable word. <laughs> yeah, you've heard what he turned tight end coach into that oh one time. God. It was just tough. It's all I gave you. I need a few more times. Let's go. Cock, cock, cock. Well, go keep going. Do we have to? Yes. Cock. You're about to get the X here. You're about to just. No, I don't know. Okay. What is the word, it's Mike? It's a quality. <laughs> cock. <laughs> You'd be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> Would you like to hear it in a sentence? Yes, please. She has some uh, Greg Cody qualities when it comes to radio, does she not? <laughs> All right, he's uh, he's two and one so far. All he's got to get to is three. Everything is fine. Everything Either is fine. of the next Deep two rest. correct gets him a victory. The second Stugatz misprint. I'm sorry. The fourth mispronunciation by Stugatz is. Rar- <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! <laughs> wow! Is that a four-syllable word? Frog. <laughs> I'm not telling you this time. Oh, you're scared. Frog. Wow! You think he's on the scent of whatever that is? It's frog. Not- <laughs> well, either you're a lamb bleating. Frog. Um- Oh. How about somebody being tasered? Does it Frark. <laughs> I mean, maybe this is energy your chance. Being tasered. You know the fifth I, one is going to be, I mean. I know, impossible. <laughs> is it? See, because I think it's either priorities or priority. You hear that? Frark. <laughs> what? How do you? Where? How? Where do you hear priorities in there? I don't hear anything other than the gurgling of a stomach having digestive problems. Frark. I don't know. I do hear the beginnings of priority. But Frark. Oh, yeah. Frar. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Oh, no. It is uh, four. Frar. <laughs> Let me hear it. I don't have this one in a sentence Let me because hear it. he does this one all the time. How did Frar. you make priority f- four priority? Because I just thought, what is the least possible answer? <laughs> Frar. That usually works. A good game plan. Frar. Uh, Backfire. And so well. this is very dramatic here. This is very dramatic. So we're going to tease it till the next segment. Find out if John Amici wins oh Stump God. the Meech next. Don Lebertard. What did I just hear you saying about CPR? CRP? What was it? What was that acronym? That that hideous thing that I don't want anywhere near the show? CSR. What is that? Corporate Social Responsibility. Oh, bleep off. Stugatz. Like, what is that? <laughs> Man, why'd you hire me? This is the Dan Lebatar show with the Stugats on ESPN Radio. A tweeter writes in, did Dan just use the word pronunciation while mocking Stugats about his pronunciation? What's the fine for that? You don't get the show. <laughs> so John Amici is in with us. Uh, always happy to have him around. You just mentioned Russell Westbrook. We will get to the conclusion of Stump the Meach in a second, but Russell Westbrook and his 16 technical fouls seems to tickle John Amici every time he hears it. Rashid Wallace, in your day, was the guy who yep. was getting all those technical fouls. In terms of crazy people you played against, Rashid Wallace, Kevin Garnett, who's a guy where you're playing against him and he's talking to himself and he he sounds uh, he's, he's nonsensical. Uh, Rashid Wallace and Kevin Garnett would be the top of that list while playing, no? Yeah, Rashid Wallace was high, I think. Uh, Anthony Mason, 
Yeah. But, but his was a stoicism, right? It, it wasn't constant chatter. It was just very purposeful eye contact in a way that was so, uh, on the one hand, banal, on the other hand, so deeply disturbing. <laughs> so he would just stare at you by means just, of trash talk? There'd be, a, there'd be a play, and he'd just look at you. And it'd be like, yeah, I'm going to kill you now. <laughs> In his eyes and nothing else. Yeah, but he's not saying anything. So he couldn't anything. do anything. You couldn't like point uh. to the ref. It's just like, oh, oh, I know you're going to kill me now. <laughs> Mace. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> All right. So let's get to the conclusion of this here. It's very dramatic. It is 2-2 right now to win Stump the Meach, which I don't think he's ever done, right? You've never, you are. I maintained that I have won it once. You you maintained that None I None of us won. remember. Yep. Yeah. Put on the poll, Guillermo. Has Meach ever won Stump the Meach for longtime listeners? Because I don't remember him ever winning. So he's, right now, he's two and two. So this is the deciding one. This is the deciding game five here. What, John Amici, is Stugat saying here? Artois. Oh, there are no words I can say right now on air. <clears throat> this is a fix. Artois. I, I don't know. I, think I don't know. Might, I Mace, think this is the this best one, chance you've ever this had. This is man. the best chance you've ever had. because Every single time, every single time, yeah. there's been consensus that this is the best chance I've had. I've this, gone down in flames. Well, I think you're going I think you're going to be really mad if you don't get this once it's explained. I'm not sure. Artois. <laughs> Mike's mad at me for already having given you too many hints already. Yeah, this is a personal thing between me and Meech. It really is. Yeah. That's why, <laughs> that's why the fix is You're staring at him like Anthony Mason. You're staring at him. He is. <laughs> Artois. Disturbing. Artois. <laughs> Artois. I mean, I've... Artois. Mm. Artois. Mm-mm-mm. Artois. Stop taunting Artist. Him. Oh no! You think it's artists, huh? Oh no! Artists, huh? Oh no! Let's hear it in a well, sentence. Uh, did, you, did you see that, by the way? Did you see as he turns yes, the computer, yes, he does a swagger snap with yes, his finger? Yes, he's feeling pretty good. good Lord, about he's every bloody Disney visit uh, villain ever concocted <laughs> all in one right there. Let's hear it in a sentence. Stella Artois. <laughs> Are you talking about the beer? That's. Stella that's, Artois. That's Artois. Yeah, Artois. Yeah, if you order a Stella Artois, <laughs> Artois though, I will punch you in the face. <laughs> Stella Artois. Every time you think you need to be literal to get the answer, you you do it and it fails. Every time you think you need to be tangential to get the answer, you do it and it fails. Stella Artois. Tan who? Also, have you have you never been places? Like where? I mean, any place that's not here. Artois. Stella no. Artois. Don't lash out at him because you can I never mean, win. Are you the guy who says deja vu? Is what? that? Oh, my goodness. Is that the way you say it? I just said, hey, can I have a Stella? I mean, that's what I say. Put in a nice glass, a little Stella. I mean, Stella Artois. Stella Artois. Yes. Artois. You're lashing out at him. Are you indeed mad at yourself for not getting number yes, five? Yes, of course I am. It's absurdly easy. But the problem is. Every time you try and put logic to this, it is confounded by <laughs> by inanity. <laughs> Rar. Like that. That's, Rar. Is that four or tight end coach? Rar. <laughs> tight end coach is the best one. Ever. It was. It was. I mean, 